Okay, you guys, so it is the last day here. We are actually planning to head to breakfast for the last time to enjoy their buffet food. Wes and Saray, thank you so much for having us. We had an absolutely great time. Now we're gonna finish out the day. This day, we don't leave until like 11 p.m. at night, so we have a lot of time to kill. So we're gonna be a lot of jumping around, going to the mall, um, probably coming back here to go to the pool, just lounge out and kill time because our flight's not until 11. So we're headed to breakfast now and then we're gonna go to the mall, so. Okay, you guys, so we're now like in the another mall. This one has a Zara and a H&M, so of course we had to visit this one. Right, friend? <laughs> so they have a lot of souvenirs and little markets. I like their style malls. Our little kiosks be a little annoying and stuff. These look appealing. <laughs> You're done today? This ain't luxury road, we all, but it's luxury. I mean, everything that my eyes can see. We're going to Zara and H&M. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need lime soda. Pink lemonade. Yep. <laughs> and a, plum, <laughs> a plum soda. All right, taste the pink. What happened? No. I tested it. <laughs> Even this. Okay, we got some Korean deep fried chicken with sticky rice. It has a pickle radish. Not gonna eat that. My girl got her truffle cheese fries. Is that what it's called? Parmesan fries. Parmesan, sorry. And he got his regular fries. Oh, they're good. You like the sauce? Yeah, the sauce is good. The sauce is good. They're good. She's so picky to um, please. But she likes it. Right here. <laughs> How you pronounce this again? Gyoza. Gyoza. It looks good. <laughs> All right. What do you think? How is it? The breading is amazing. I love a good crunch of a chicken wing. It's juicy. Sauce is a little hot, but she did say it was hot. But um. I like it. I'm giving it a nine and a half. Okay. Pretty, pretty high. That's yeah. good. Good. On the golf part for one last time. Ready to go? <laughs> uh-uh. No worries. I'm ready. No worries. But it was nice. Yeah, it was very nice. The time has Five come. Five stars, yeah. The <laughs> so last time on the golf cart. I'm sad. I don't want to go, y'all. Mm -hmm. Natural hair. Just keep sweating now. But it is time to go. I would stay for one more day if I could. Yeah. But that is a wrap on Phuket, Thailand. It was amazing. Bye bye, Phuket! Bye, 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 bye. The land of smiles. Say bye, Sagayo. Adios! <laughs> He's over it. <laughs> All right. Getting on the plane. Time to go. Say. Finally loading. It's time. Finally leaving, it's 11. We're finally gonna, oh, we should make it back to Asia by 10 a.m. Saturday morning. So, whoo, hang in with there with us. <laughs> oh! Okay, guys, so we made it to, I was about to say Vietnam, Korea. <laughs> Please excuse my look. I'm looking rough. But we made it to the last stop before we make it to Atlanta officially. So, although no, I know on the way here we had a layover at Seattle, then Seattle to Korea, then Korea to Thailand. But this one is just a straight, or well, kind of a straight shot. So we go back to Korea like we are now, and then now we go straight from Korea all the way to Atlanta, no stops. So this is gonna be probably a 12 hour flight. So I'm trying to prepare for it, change, have some food, use the bathroom. And we're almost home. This is always the hardest part of the trip when you're just ready to go home. And it takes forever. But we almost there. We're checking, we're moving. And I'm just thankful we're just getting there safe and sound. So, catch you guys in ACA.
Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna close out the video here. I know you guys, it's, it seems like the next day. It kind of is. Well, it is, not kind of is. But we finally made it back home to Atlanta, which seemed like it took forever. It was a straight shot and no layover, so it was complete 12 hours. And as soon as I got home, y'all, and laid in my bed, I was out. And then I woke up at 1.30 and could not go back to sleep so and it's 7 30 now i'm looking at my watches if i have a watch on but it's 7 30 now i said i'm so hungry and i can't go back to sleep so i went to get me some starbucks i got a venti this time i never get a venti so that lets you know something and yeah but i just want to come in here and say that before yeah before i close the video i just had an absolutely amazing time and to do with my best friends was even like the cherry on top it was just so amazing it was a great trip we really didn't have like a bunch of hiccups nothing that could cure sleep in the morning you know how they say you know if you're upset about to just go to sleep or whatever but nothing too crazy nobody got sick no one got hurt it was just an amazing trip the flight there was fine the only time it was a little wonky was the landing but other than that it was all in all a great trip and i just had so much fun it was just I couldn't have asked for a better trip and I just hope that we have many more to come after that and to go over there and just see people just be absolutely content and happy with just the little things is what's amazing about traveling to me especially out of the country. I feel like over here in the US we sometimes get so consumed about the future and the next thing and the next day and we don't worry about today and happy about the little things. And unfortunately, that's kind of like the, the culture in the U.S. But when you go to other countries like Thailand, it's just everybody was just so happy. Like the people were great. Food was amazing. And people genuinely were like trying to serve you, trying to make you happy. And it was just very nice to see that. And we just as U.S., we really just got to do better with caring for people and being happy with what we have. Being grateful as well. You know, seeing people who just happy to be a caretaker to an elephant. You know, or people happy to selling fruits and food in hot ass weather, like 98 degree weather, and it's humid over there as well on a day to day basis. And just be happy is just, I just think, I just find that so amazing. And it's like, I, that's why I'm, I have such a love for travel is because you just get to see how other people live and it's just amazing to see. So I definitely want to go back to Thailand, maybe go to Bangkok next time or Chiang Mai, um, either one. I'll be happy with but Thailand you have my heart like seriously and to like I said to do it with my friends of course to do it with my family I'm, I'm always happy with but to do it with my some of my best friends was just great too so I can't wait to travel again um I'm already thinking about next year's travel I'm thinking about going to Japan I don't know why because we flew over Japan so I was like wow I didn't I didn't realize Japan was a little bit closer than Thailand but you know that's a one of the topics one of the places but we're gonna think about some more so comment down below if you guys had any other you know recommendations of where to go but yeah it was absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 Thailand love you so much and I love you guys and after this video is uploaded because I definitely need to catch up probably gonna take a, <laughs> a break for about a week or so just to you know get me back into the groove of things because jet lag is serious and I'm up and I'm hoping that I can go to sleep <laughs> tonight when I'm supposed to I really do want to call out but I don't think I have the time to, but whatever. But anyway, I love you guys so much. Please keep continuing to support and like and comment and turn on your post notifications, which is that little bell, so that you guys can get notified every time I post. Again, I love you guys so much. Keep supporting, keep subscribing, and I'll be back with another video. Bye. Oh,